What were you thinking? Well, you know, on the last hand, I flopped top pair in a flush to all, which is a pretty good hand. And actually, against Chris's hand, we're about a coin flip on the flop. And on the on the turn, I was trying to figure out, you know, what to bet so that, you know, it wouldn't be right for him to call with, with just a flush off, give him the implied odds and all that. And um, I bet just enough that I had better than a three to one to call. And I could be drawing dead, but I thought that was, I, I just didn't get that sense. Maybe I read him wrong, but as it turned out, I had the right odds to call in that spot, and unfortunately the wrong card came off on the river, but, you know, Chris played uh, a great game as usual. Um, I don't think anyone has ever heard anyone say that Chris played a bad game, except for Phil Helmy. <laughs> well, you have a smile on your face. I, I think yeah. you played re really good. I think everybody here can agree with that. Chris, well, first of all, let's hand you your trophy. You can hold that up I've and show everyone. I've been for four years. I come close, but <laughs> finally, I, finally I got it. You want to hold it up for everybody? Congratulations. I'll take that back from you. We also have another gift. Cleopatra here is giving you an eBell watch presented by John Paradiso Jewelers. Pretty nice, huh? In your fourth try, you finally won this thing. You got the monkey off your back. How do you feel? You know, I never thought I was a monkey. If, <laughs> if, if being cursed means you finish second, you know, three out of four years, I, I hope I'm cursed for the rest of my life. That's all I got to say. But, <laughs> can, you, can you comment on that last hand and, and watching Andy make that coin flip? I was ha I was happy. He didn't I didn't really care too much if he calls or not because I know he's getting just on the right price. I mean, when I move in, it's he, I put him in a tough decision. You know, he he flops top pair and a flush draw. It's a huge flop for him. I'm I'm really scared moving in on him because he could easily have a seven in that situation. Right. So. You also won a free seat in the 2008 World Series main event. That's pretty good. Cool. I finally get to play that. <laughs> well, you know, what also comes with winning this thing, Caesar here is going to present you with the half million talking. dollar prize for being our 2008 Heads Up champion. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Congratulations. Play some poker. Get out your guns. All in. First hand, all in. All in. Come on in. I'm all in. You really have it every hand. You can go all in again. All right, I'm all in. Not only am I in good shape in the hand, I'm the best looking guy in the match. Take those sunglasses off. How do you feel about my mojo right now? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Gotta get lucky. Suck out. One more time. Suck out. If we're all luck, I'd win every one. I've been known to be a little lucky myself. That was a crazy Damn. I'm dead. Well, that really sucks. The pain of poker. Wow. <laughs> Help me. Don't do it to me, guys. I run so good. Try not to sign the ball. Freddie, can you sign this for me? <laughs> that was fun. Silly game we play. Welcome to cards. God bless poker. All in. Call it. Go ahead. Call it. <laughs> the National Heads Up Poker Championship is one of the premier events on the poker calendar. There are no easy draws. There's no shortcut to the championship. Each player must navigate a poker minefield and win six in a row. One bad call, one lapse in judgment, one nasty suck out can mean the end of the road. Come on. I call. You admit it was terrible, right? God. We'll see if we were been around in five years. You got me, you got me, brother. I'm all in. All right, I call. And it's a four to heart. No. Welcome to my world. All in. I fold. All in. All in. Sheesh, sheesh. I'll go all in. <sighs> Boom. Oh, man, what a call. I've beaten better with worse. Yes. It makes me sick. All right, well, that's it. What do you need from me? I'm done.